do it. Well, I found some birds in here yesterday morning, and uh, it was about seven o'clock, and they were right on this little flat here in front of me. So I came in here last night and set up this blind. And I think they went across the road, unfortunately. They're over there gobbling like crazy, but they're pretty far away. Um, I've only got about an hour to hunt, so I'm gonna sit here for a little while. There's a highway down here, and I can't tell if they're across the highway or not. I think they are, but I'm not sure. So they're probably at least a thousand yards away, but they're gobbling like crazy. And there's nothing really that way except a big lake, so I'm thinking maybe they'd still come this way. I'm not quite sure. I was hoping they'd be closer. I got the decoy set up. I'm gonna try and self-film with the Reeker. We'll see what happens. Birds have been gobbling all morning. There's a bunch way over behind me on the neighbors that are hammering, but nothing real close to me. Well, I missed those two birds that morning and uh, had to get to work. There was, there was still turkeys in the field, but I had to go. So I snuck out the back of the blind and went out the bottom of the valley without them seeing me. And uh, that night I went back and moved my blind about 300 yards to the south, closer to where those birds were roosted, and went back in the next morning with my cousin Sean. 
and the birds were real quiet on the roost. Uh, they didn't gobble at all. There was uh, four hens, four toms, and a jake. And they flew down and came out in the field and they were, there was a little bit of a, of a hill in the field and they were just on the other side of it where I couldn't get any footage of them. And uh, they were there for probably 20 minutes and then all of a sudden they started to leave so I, I just decided to get real excited on the call. I, I was scared to call too much. I didn't want to call to make the hens go away from us. And uh, so they were about to leave so I just said I'm going to try and I got real excited on the mouth call and uh, luckily one, one of those toms picked his head up and, and started coming right to us. That was beautiful. <laughs> Four of them. Well, <laughs> finally pulled it off. I missed a bird yesterday with the recurve and come back in here today with a different group of birds. And Sean came and videoed me. And, uh, what a hunt. I mean, came like, seriously, what a hunt. Yeah. It was awesome. They didn't gobble very much. They were pretty quiet roosted down here. Four toms come in with the Jake and four hens and finally they come over to the decoy. And I didn't I honestly didn't think they were gonna leave the hens. I mean they yeah. were playing around over there and they were all on them hens. Austin hit the call a little bit and got one of these toms attention. And I mean they literally first one came in, they came in on a rope. It was yeah. a crazy, crazy hunt. That recurve yeah. shot was I mean, <laughs> wow. That was awesome. That was just beautiful. It was fun. I'm glad I finally was able to do it. I've been wanting to kill one with a recurve for a long time. Finally pulled it off. So, good deal. Well, thanks. thank you. That was a blast, <laughs> man.